Growing up, I've had a lot of nicknames like the Muffin Man, the Village Bike, all these cameramen, but one nickname that's on the rise is Will Trenny. Because a lot of people think I'm a fake natty, which is amazing. It means I'm doing something right. I am the biggest, I'm the strongest, I'm the heaviest I've been in like the past 10 years, weighing in this morning at 201 pounds. So today I'm gonna show you guys everything I'm doing with my diet and my training. Let's go. If I'm being honest with you guys, I have not been tracking my calories. I've been eating what I want within reason because I want to compete next year and I don't want to go into my prep feeling like I'm already dieting. For breakfast, we are making a pumpkin protein cake. For the wet ingredients, you're gonna need some canned pumpkin, cashew milk, egg whites, vanilla extract. For the dry ingredients, you need one scoop of some protein powder. I'm using cinnamon roll, it goes really well with the pumpkin. Some more cinnamon, baking powder, and sea salt. We're gonna mix up the wet ingredients right now. We have our dry ingredients all mixed up, so now we're gonna add the dry to the wet and get everything nice and combined. We're gonna add our batter to a pan here with some parchment paper on it. When it comes to protein cakes, the only thing harder to get down comes from a double dose of Viagra because they can be super, super dry, but I promise you guys, this cake is so moist, even the weatherman will say it's raining. Oven is preheated at 350 degrees. We're gonna pop it in for like 15, 12 to 15 reps, okay? 12 to 15 reps. Look at that thing and you get your own little loaf right there. Beautiful. So we're gonna top it off with one and a half servings of almond butter. Spread the nut right on top of that cake. And now we're gonna frost this thing like it's getting married tomorrow or I just failed no nut. One serving of Greek yogurt of 175 grams. Last but not least, we have our apple diced up. Just drop it from a height. Actually don't drop, no. It's 755 calories. Pretty good, a lot of volume here. Don't go around telling your friends you're having cake for breakfast because that's like bragging like you got into high school. It's not the best cake I've ever had, but when it comes to my diet, I don't need to win, I just can't keep losing. Holy shit. <clears throat> if that was like normal protein cake, I probably would've just died. Take a look at how moist this thing is, dude. You can even hear it. Like, listen. Highly recommend you try this recipe out. If not, then I am disappointed in your close-minded attitude. Day number one of my four day split, chest, back, and biceps. Starting off with the pause bench press. My training runs in three week blocks. So it goes three sets of eight, four sets of six, and then week three is five sets of five. So you'll notice the intensity is going up, but the reps are staying the same. The three sets of eight, I did 270. Four sets of six with 280, and then five sets of five next week with 295. You're adding five pounds to each week, every single time. So it's just not, it's not all, yeah, it's very confusing. I will say if you guys have not done paused benching or any pause or a chest work, I highly recommend it. My chest, you feel it so much more and I've just noticed a lot of development by just pausing. Now we're moving on to the back. I go chest, back, chest, back, alternating. I'm doing dumbbell chest supported rows. You wanna make sure when you do these, stretch the lats and then come back up. Don't half rep it. When I have something like four sets of 10 to 12 reps, and on the last set I feel great, I'll push past 12. I'll just go to complete failure, possibly hit 15 if I can, and then the next week go to 95 pounds. When you're bulking, it's very important that when you're gaining weight on the scale, you're also adding weight in the gym. If you're not adding weight in the gym, that means you're just eating too much food, you're gonna get fat. You wanna put on good quality weight, so make sure you know everything is going up together. Now we're gonna go on to the secondary exercises for those muscle groups, starting off with machine chest press, three sets, 10 to 12 reps. Usually when you know you have something like 10 to 12 reps, when you get to the eighth rep and it starts to feel hard, you start to move the weight really fast, form kind of breaks down, because you want to hit that 12 reps. Now I've kind of embraced the burn, the pain, and I maintained the same form, the same tempo the whole way through, and I've noticed much more development instead of just rushing through just to, just to overload. Next thing we are doing is for the lats, we're doing the machine lat pull down. Most people think when you do back, the thing that only really matters is you know, getting your elbows as far back as you possibly can. That does matter, but also what matters is getting the stretch of the top as high as you can. Typically rest time, three minutes. You don't wanna rush it, because if you rush it, you won't be able to lift nearly as much weight as if you just take that extra minute. Check out that thickness right there. Focus on heavy compounds, nothing fancy, not a lot of volume. I'm literally doing like seven hard sets of chest, seven hard sets of back twice a week. There's volume and then there's effective volume. Focus on making the few sets that you actually do matter and your recovery is better, everything's better. You're gonna get bigger by doing less. Now time for some biceps.
The reason why I like to do it on the wall is because I feel like once I start getting heavier weight, I tend to kind of go like this without really thinking about it. Biceps, triceps, lateral raises are some of those things where pretty much every single set that I do, I'll, I'll go to failure. Last exercise of the day for the biceps is gonna be doing single arm cable curls. When I was with Phil Heath and we were talking about like arm training, one of the things he said to me off camera was this exercise and he said a good cue is pretend like you're actually gonna do like a flex, like a pose. Master every single pin that you do before you go up. Time. So I typically have a salad, so I'm gonna show you guys how I make my favorite salad, which is like an avocado, kind of like a taco salad, I'm just gonna call it that. We have ourselves one and a half avocados that I've diced up. I have a wad of cilantro. If you guys don't like cilantro, quick little option, don't add it in, okay? So we're gonna add a little, actually a lot of cilantro, holy shit. Then I have one cup of some cherry tomatoes. I have this assorted one here. It's 2022, guys, I like an inclusive salad. And then we have a ton of red onion. I'm an engaged man now, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna take half the lime, just squirt her right on top. Oh, she's a juicy one. Hello. A little bit of salt. Now my favorite spice of all time, some cumin, a couple of Spanx, some red pepper flakes, around like half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. The good thing about this salad is, is that there's lime in here. So if you guys wanna pack it for work, the avocado will stay good because it doesn't make it brown. So it just stays nice and fresh, look at that. Beautiful, so now it's time for the protein portion to add on top. We're gonna be making some fast fried steak, because I like to think there's moments where a quick meat is the best meat, okay? So I have eight ounces of some thin strips. I'm gonna spray the pan a little bit, just a little bit of soy sauce, and that's it. Calories for the salad is 730 calories. I feel like there's this common misconception that when you're in a bulk, you don't have to like eat healthy. You just eat whatever the hell you want. That is so not true. Focus on your fruits, focus on your veggies. This is why I like to have a salad in, during the day because I like to just get a lot of my veggies in. I have the fruit in the morning. I have, I mean, avocados are fruit. I feel like you guys are gonna comment that and roast me, but you know what I'm saying. It is so fresh. While I eat this, I'm gonna do some work. I feel like some of you guys are pretty interested in like the whole creating process of a YouTube video. And one website that really helps me is vidIQ. Helps me with coming up with ideas, coming up with titles, highly recommended. I've used it since zero subscribers all the way up to now. So link is in the description, check it out. I showed you guys day number one at the gym. I'm gonna show you guys the other three days right now. So here's day number two. Starting off with my favorite movement, the overhead press. So week number one, you're doing a top set of five. So we're working up to the heaviest set of five for the day. Then reduce the weight by like 20 to 25% and then bang out three sets of 10. Week two, a top set of three and then three sets of eight. Week number three, a heavy single, not like a one rep max, but like a training max. And then three sets of six. After that, we're going to the legs. So I'm doing hack squat, six sets, 10 to 12 reps. This is for me personally, because I have bad knees. I need to like warm up extensively. I've noticed tremendous leg gains by doing a lot of sets, a lot of reps, and less weight. Day number three, we are back to chest, back, and biceps. Starting off with the incline Smith machine bench press. Four sets, 10 to 12 reps. I love benching, doing any sort of chest movement on the Smith machine. You can grind out a lot more reps, a lot more time under tension than on the free weights. Neutral grip pull down, so holding it this way, not this way. I like to get a lot more weight that way. The T-bar row three sets, 10 to 12 reps. A lot of times I'd like to do a strip set, kind of remove plates as I go, really burn it out. I have a lot of structure to my routine, but at the same time I keep things open to kind of keep things more fun. Because if you could do the same thing every time, it gets very boring. The last and final day of the week, starting off with the leg press, similar to the hack squat, we were doing six sets, 10 to 12 reps. Then we're doing the seated dumbbell press. I hate this movement, which is why I'm doing it. You gotta do things that you hate sometimes. And then we have a super set to finish it off. Tricep push down, super set with rear delt cable flies three sets, 12 to 15 each. Here's how I split up four days. So on Monday is day number one, Tuesday is day number two, then I take a day off on Wednesday, Thursday is day number three, Friday is day number four, and then I have the weekend off to have some fun and relax. Take what you want from this. I'm no scientist, I don't know shit. I've been making some gains, so again, just take what you want from it.
Just wrapped up 20 minutes on the rower. A common misconception, again, with the bulk is that you stop doing all cardio all together. But I think the key to staying lean while you're bulking is to keep the activity high. I do orange theory like four times a week. Then I'll come down here. I'll either do like the treadmill or I'll do some rowing for around 20 minutes. And that's really all you need. You don't need much. Time for meal number three. This is my biggest meal of the day, right around like 1200 calories all said and done here. Typically I have chicken breast, but now I've really been enjoying some dark meat chicken, some chicken thighs. Dark thighs save lives, guys. Maturing is learning that to open up and expand your horizons to the benefits that dark meat can offer. So we have 10 ounces of some chicken thighs here. All we're gonna do is add some lemon pepper seasoning. Now we're just gonna sear the chicken breast on both sides so it gets crispy and golden brown. Ooh. We're gonna take the chicken off of the pan. It's not fully done, but that's okay. We're gonna add it back in a minute. You guys see all that on the pan right there? Do you see it? You know what that is? You wanna know what that is? That is flavor. I chopped up two cloves of garlic. It's going in. Now we're gonna add one cup of some chicken broth. This is a bunch of flat leaf parsley. I take around half of it, add it to the broth, and some onto the oven. Take three quarters of a cup of orzo. We're gonna add that in here. Now what we're gonna do is put our chicken back in. So it's gonna be super tender because it's gonna cook the rest of the way in the broth. See how it's boiling right here? We're gonna reduce the heat down to low. I don't have a top for it, so I'm just gonna go old school and go like that. And we're gonna let it do its thing for around 15 minutes and the orzo should be beautifully cooked and that is a one pot lemon pepper chicken orzo thing. Let's take a look. You might not think there's a lot of seasoning on it, but like the, the stuff at the bottom of the pan really seasons like the orzo and everything. We're gonna add the rest of the parsley on top because we eat with our eyes, guys. Not all the time, but most of the time. I'm known to go the extra mile, so I like to add a little bit of feta cheese, around like two servings of feta cheese, a couple blocks on top. Surprisingly, I have gotten tired of making anabolic ice cream every single night, so I had to kind of think of something that gives me that sweet urge later in the evening. So I kind of thought to make rice cake s'mores. It's like a penitentiary kind of like s'mores hack here. We have our three rice cakes, caramel corn, 50 calories per. I have Lily's dark chocolate chips, no sugar added. We're gonna evenly distribute two servings of those on top of here. I feel like I'm at the campfire right now, hoping a different kind of bear walks in. Now I have some mini marshmallows, evenly again, distribute across the three. Get on there, you little bastard. Now what we're gonna do is add it to our air fryer at 375 degrees for like four to five minutes and we're done. It's that simple. The hard part's getting it in here. Oh, oh. Time to slide her in. We are gonna to top these off with some banana and some PB2. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like they should call it PB2.0 to make it seem like it's like elevated, not just like it's like the second best PB2. So we're gonna add 12 grams, mix it with a little bit of water. Getting this to the right consistency is literally a skill. This is the kind of consistency you're looking for so that when you kind of go like this, it kind of goes like that. You know what I mean? It kind of just like does that. Look at my banana emerge. Banana is a fruit that deserves a second life. What can I say? We're gonna go 75 grams. Okay, it's time to pull out on time. There we go. Oh, wow, those are good. This one is gonna be the threesome that I'm gonna ask to go sit on the couch. Cause that one does not look great. Something in my mind is telling me not to do this cause I'm gonna F it up, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Something about s'mores is so nostalgic, but it wasn't even part of my childhood. Oh baby. The marshmallows are not the only thing rising to the occasion. Five hundred and five calories for all three of these. A nice little replacement to kind of switch things up from the old anabolic ice cream. So let's try it out here. Comparing these to real s'mores is like comparing Vin Diesel to Johnny Sins. You gotta put it in your mouth to really know. It's nowhere near the same, but it is still a very good replacement. So the. The question is, am I natural? Yes, I'm a lot more motivated in the gym, more motivated than ever, and I'm more comfortable with adding weight to the scale. I used to not be very comfortable with that. I know a lot of people watching this video used to be heavier and they've lost a bunch of weight, and now they're trying to build back up, and it's scary to see the scale weight go up, and I know exactly what you're feeling, but just remember, there's a good way to gain weight and a wrong way to gain weight, and you've done the wrong way, but now you know what you're doing. Implement what you know, 
and the weight is good weight. When I saw 200 pounds, I won't lie to you, I, it kind of like gave me this like wave of emotions, but like, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with my progress in the gym. I feel great. Total calories for the day, 3,190. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.